Welcome back to an inside look at Southeastern football with Mike Lucas. Coach, we were talking before the break about the McNeese State game. Why don't you walk us through the first half highlights? Let's take a look. Well, we came out right off the bat. The first play that uh, McNeese ran, a little speed sweep to one of their very fast wide receivers for a, a first down. We anticipated them getting in their receiver's hands right away. Played with some pretty good enthusiasm there early. We get a tackle for a loss by true freshman middle linebacker Mark Newbill. And uh, here we have a third down and long on the first drive. We're trying to place a man under coverage, and uh, they beat us underneath into man coverage. Again, they've got very good speed at wide receiver. Good play by true freshman nose guard John Williams from Independence. Gets a tackle for a loss. John played very well in this game. He's getting better every week. And uh, drop back pass defended by Eric Jackson. Got the ball out. And that was a third down play. Forced him to punt. Brian Babin at quarterback. That was a third down throw to uh, Andre Cryer that was incomplete. Brandon Harris with a tackle for a loss on an outside zone play. This is the second series, the first quarter. A little power where they pull the guard in front of the tailback. Trying to get as many people to the ball as we can and gang tackle their running backs. Here on a reverse, George Leverett, Mark Newbill, Tommy Connors, stifling the reverse. And a uh, long touchdown pass here. We were in man-to-man -man coverage with Demarius Johnson, and uh, Demarius loses body position and gives up a long touchdown pass. Here we come back on our next possession. Nice play action slant to Byron Ross. Byron had a very big game for us last night with two touchdown catches. Here's a pump fake on a slant and go. And Byron's wide open. Great throw by Brian Babbitt and a very nice catch to tie the score here in the first quarter at 7-7. You can see the pump fake by Brian. Give the offensive line credit. He ran a and a fingertip in catch. Jeff Turner with the extra point. Here where they, they run a hitch screen outside and we miss a tackle with Tommy Connors. She could have had that tackle at the line of scrimmage and uh, Donald Frazier knocks him out of bounds inside the 15. Little zone read run play. Tackled by Ryan Anderson, another true freshman. And then a little bubble screen outside, and we lose leverage with our corner that should have stayed outside on its stalk block, and we give up another touchdown. Uh, again, their defensive line was very good. We get pressure, they get pressure on the quarterback. It's our punter, Cody Samples. We've got to get our punt coverage downfield. Paul Mono, our deep snapper, with the first hit. He gets around the corner, and it's not Chris DiCarlo and Mark Newbill on the tackle. Tony Johnson gets beat deep in the middle of the field, but strips the ball out. Pass defended there by Demarius Johnson. Throws out of bounds. And then we tried, this week we tried to uh, return a punt. Their punter got the ball out very quickly. And Eric Jackson mishandles the punt. It rolls into the end zone. And uh, Devin Cannon very intelligently picks it up and gets it out to the one yard line so we don't give up a touchdown or a touchback there, or safety. Um, Brian Babin here with a quarterback sneak to get us out of trouble. And then Mike Neville needs one, he needs half a more yard for a first down, and we end up punting out of our end zone. We're half a yard short on that run. And Franklin calls for the fair catch and takes it at the 40, being kicked for 55 with the win in pregame. This was a third down play where their receiver ran a little post inside of our safety. Should have defended that better with better inside leverage by the safety. Another try to reverse. Tackled by George Leverett. And a screen pass, a flare screen to the outside. We don't get outside the lead blocker to turn it in. And uh, gets down to the one yard line. We've got to get proper leverage on the screen pass. It hurt us all night. 
run play. We hit him for a loss. And he spins off the tackle of Brennan Harris into the end zone for a touchdown. Good throw by Brian in between two defenders. Nice catch by Byron Ross. Byron had a big night. Tried another pump and go. Threw it into the end zone. This was a fourth down play. So it really worked out well that they intercepted the end zone. They got the ball on the 20 instead of on the 40. We get the ball stripped out, cause a fumble, get the ball back at the 50 yard line. John Williams with a fumble recovery, hustling down the field. Another screen pass to Jay. Good job blocking downfield. Jay picks up good yardage and gets out of bounds. You can see how we're moving the protection here, a little slide protection to give Brian time. Makes a nice throw to Luis Sabovero. Trying to get Luis more and more involved in the offense each week. Brian on a scramble. Got to work on that slide a little bit. This is a direct snap to Jay. Try to catch him off guard and see it didn't work. Now you come back with Babbitt at quarterback. And the Ville, and the Ville in at quarterback, he'll take this snap and they'll run the reverse. Reverse to Byron and their safety came down and made a great play. We thought Byron could outrun him and we didn't get there. Great play by Brent Lindy. There you see why he's a Southland goal attempt. McNeese has great team speed. Jeff Turner. Jeff's been very consistent the last several weeks. Another field goal. Makes it 21 to 10 with three minutes to go in the half. We need to get in the locker room at this point in time with the score being 21 to 10. They had been throwing the bubble screen and we jumped the bubble screen with the linebacker and they throw the slant right behind the linebacker. And here they give us a bootleg. We're supposed to be blitzing off the edge, and we don't get our blitzer in the proper spot. And a uh, touchdown pass on the bootleg to make it 28 right before the half. And here we are running the clock out right before halftime. Well, Coach, you go into the locker room trailing 28 to 10. The first time in five weeks the Lions have been trailing at halftime, and they brought Fontenot in. He looked pretty sharp in the end of that first half. Yeah, they kind of uh, changed up uh, what they were doing offensively uh, when uh, their starter went out and uh, Fontenot came in and threw the ball really well. They, uh, they're very fast at wide receiver. We didn't adjust very well to that speed. And uh, I thought our offense moved the ball well and uh, played with a great enthusiasm on that side of the football. But uh, defensively, we didn't get after it like we should have. And in the, in the locker room, what was talked about to try to get back in the football game? Well, we made some adjustments at, uh, at halftime. We did not know which quarterback we would see in the third quarter. Um, we, we had to, uh, in their passing game, uh, take some different drops, different angles with our linebackers, and we worked really hard on that part of it. Um, offensively, they had, we were doing a good job keeping uh, Brian Smith out of the game with our protection scheme that uh, Coach Rudolph and Coach Condell had come up with. So it was basically just, hey, let's go out and play harder and, and we're still in this game and let's try to get it done.